The American people spoke loudly and clearly this week. They put a check on Donald Trump. Congress must uphold its constitutional obligation to do its job and hold power accountable. Nobody is above the law. Nobody is above the law. So let's talk about what happened yesterday. The President of the United States declared war on the Constitution and the rule of law. He, said, he put in charge of the Mueller investigation a man who said the investigation should either be extremely limited, starved of money, or stopped. And at the same time, he said that if the, if the House of Representatives, now controlled by Democrats, constitutional job of oversight that he will attack he will take a warlike attitude towards them so what he said is he is above the law the special prosecutor can't touch him the congress of the united states cannot follow the constitution and oversee him so you know what that makes this that makes this our time because the only thing that is going to make the elected leaders of this country stand up to this lawless president is if the people of the United States say to them, you get rid of him or we'll get rid of you. Yeah. Mueller is my brother right now. Because with us taking the House, we have the support that he needs. And I know that if Mr. Orange Man takes the next step of trying to get him out, where are we going to be? Right behind you. In the streets. In the streets. In the streets. In the streets. Two years ago today. Do you remember how you felt two years ago today? There was a lot that wasn't right. There was a lot that wasn't, that wasn't right. And we declared then that we would never normalize 45 and that we would never normalize the election because we knew months before that there had been an electronic Watergate. No one is above the law. No one is above the law. They are the resistance. We are the great river. They are the dam that we are going to overflow. They're cheating. They're fighting. They're stealing. They're breaking the law. They're corrupting the Constitution because they don't hold power legitimately anymore because we are coming and we at more than that we have arrived i see this beautiful future if we can protect the climate if we can protect the coming generations if we can protect the constitution long enough for what's emerging which is so much better than where we've been cuz if we are right from wrong then it's simple Nobody